ahead for some man coverage as well as Acrobat, which we saw earlier today, made some big plays so far. Let's get this game underway. Salty and Henry battling it out for the right to rep the Philadelphia Eagles. What a day it has been. TD, we've seen big names with big wins. We've seen absolute dominance. We've gotten a little bit of everything. One thing we haven't seen is an upset. Yeah, we've seen a couple blowouts in these last two, so I'm looking for a better game here. I think we're going to get a better game. So when I talked to Salty, he said he, he, he seen, so he thinks Henry on tape has seen Salty run a lot of coverage, two-man rushing. So his plan is to really kind of mix in the blitz a lot versus Henry. And Henry here in the Seattle offensive playbook, a little different. It's not the chalk bunch, but he is very effective in the Seattle playbook. It's Reggie Bush with a run on first down, trying to get a big play going early for Henry. Showing off that run stick. How about that way to kick off a game? Down to the 31-yard line. Big, big play right there by Henry to start it off. A little read option. He reads the defensive line, hands it off to the back. And if you can get about 60, 70 yards on your first play, that's always a great way to start off. Reggie Bush. And how about Brett Favre at the helm for Henry? Come out on the gun bunch. He's got Johnson, McLaurin, Vernon Davis, DK Metcalf out there, looks like. He's looking for that crosser. It's well covered, so he'll dump it off underneath. Nobody on Sanders trying to make a man miss. Former Detroit Lion, Barry Sanders, picking up 11. Good defense, but better offense by Henry. You saw Salty, he, he, he handled the crossing route himself, but he had that delay route out of the backfield to the running back. Great adjustment by Henry, he's able to convert. You're gonna see Henry here in this gun bunch. He's very high powered. He's gonna move that, that Chad Johnson around. You see him on the outside there. He's got three elite receivers. It's down to 10. How about back to the ground game? He's, Reggie he's Bush shaking. losing exactly two. Shaking. And by the way, I don't think there's at any point we're going to hear Salty be quiet. I think he's going to talk this entire game. Yeah, I agree. You see Henry there, audible to the gun, bunch tight end, a little inside zone. I like the mix-up. Salty ready for it, though. You see Salty in that nickel double A gap, a very popular defense within the TNC crew. I expect him to mix it up. You know, like he said, he wants to bring some heat on Henry, make, it un make him uncomfortable. Corner motion on second down. Favre will drop back to pass, two-man rush. From Salty, looking right side. Oh, Come how on. about the acrobatic catch like from that. Dominic Rogers from shaking. Marty? What a play from Salty! I already gave you what a heads click up. on by Salty. Do not throw the football. You're shaking. And he's telling him, do not throw the football. He's shaking. He's capping right now at Young Henry. What a pick. What a click on. You see that acrobat make a play. Look at the replay here. Corner route to the tight end. Clicks on DRC on the two-yard line. Phenomenal user right there by Young Salty. Well, it started off with a 44-yard run from Reggie Bush. It ends in a turnover. And now for the first time, we get to see young Salty, 17 years old. Salt Nation, I know, is pumped out there to see if Salty can't take an early lead. Yeah, the fan favorite repping the TNC crew. He's going to be in the Carolina bunch offense. Nick, I feel like I keep calling, I keep calling him young Henry and young Salty because they're both so young in this big match. 17 years old. But Salty, we'll see. He's not known as a great offensive player. He's more of a defensive player. He told me in our call, I'm kind of 50-50 on offense. If I can get it going, I'm going to be tough to beat. But sometimes I struggle. So I got to I gotta prepare and I got to be ready on offense. Don't forget, Henry was the number one defensive player in the Eagles club. Oh, oh go Cinco almost caught that one. It's almost caught. It was almost picked. I like it. By the way, you want to know what the weird part about this is, TD? Their combined age is four years older than me. That makes me hurt inside. <laughs> Oh, that's nuts. Isn't that crazy? 17 years old. These guys are playing for 7,500, a chance at 150,000 down the road. Now, if you're salty here, though, you're, it's scary territory at the two-yard line. Henry might dial up a turbo rush up the middle. And Henry will take a timeout. Two of the youngest in the competition. How about, how about Salty, by the way? I think he cleaned up his room. It, it, looks, it looks as good, I think, it's, as it's ever looked. Yeah, and he wanted to shout out his dad, who always supports him. His dad, Matt, watching at home. All of Salty Nation tuned in to see what he can do. Pressure brought. It's picked up nicely. Oh, yeah. Oh, Joe That's Cinco. how you high pass it, buddy. Oh, oh yeah. Pass. Put his nuts on his head. What a play right there by Salty. And Nick, in the pregame, I pointed Love out it. for Henry that Ocho Cinco was his mutt player to watch, but it might be for Salty as well. He goes with the, he goes with the high ball, aggressive catch, one-on-one, -on -one, and he converts it. Allen, I'll throw this one away. One on one, 85, making plays. 
One thing you'll see about Henry, though, TD, he's rarely phased. He has been down before. He knows how to fight through adversity. Oh, yeah. When you watch Henry play, you would not think he's 17 years old. He is so composed. He doesn't let things rattle him. He knows. Henry is really confident. He knows he's better than pretty much 99% of the Madden community, and that Come shows. Come on! There's that man again. TD, how good is this Ocho Cinco item that, you know, you're seeing about half the guys using right now? Yeah, it's oh, really yeah. good. Relatively new to Mutt. Added a few weeks ago, I believe. And everyone's kind of added it to the team here for these club championships. We didn't see it the first few weeks. It was added to the game. And now everyone pretty much has them on their roster. First and 10. Let's see if he throws to anybody else or he just keeps finding 85. Allen outside of the pocket. Well covered. Looking for the playmaker upfield. Oh, I had it. Oh, he he says he, I don't know what he was looking at. What What exactly did he have, TD? Yeah, I don't think that was a dot. I don't know what he saw, but honestly, he had some things to start the play. He kind of rolled out too soon. If he would have stayed in the pocket, he had a couple dots, rolled out. He might have had some pressure off the left, but I don't know what he was trying to throw at the end there. You just got to throw that thing away. Second and 10. What you push in the backfield? Josh Allen, that quarterback. And Bush will fight for it. He'll pick up one. Third and nine, opportunity for Henry to make a big defensive play. You see that run defense right there by Henry. Salty audible down to a counter play. And like I said earlier, Henry, amazing on offense, known for his offense, but I think he is just as good on the defensive side of the ball. Third and nine. Motion, motions out to the right. Allen in the pocket. Only a two-man rush with a spy waiting. Lurkin. Josh Allen. We got it. Over middle of field. How about that beam from it's Josh the Allen? The to Terry the McCoy with this another is my big first catch. time here. And I'm literally just, oh my God, he's shaking. I appreciate it. Does Salty have any confidence in himself? I can't okay. figure it out. Okay, young Salty, let him know. This is my first time here and I got Henry shaking. Is that what he's saying over here? I love it. Salty fired up. Great pocket presence. He waited in the pocket, kind of. It was a freestyle play. Waited. The guy got open man to man. He converted for a big dot. TD, I'm scared what he's going to say if he scores a touchdown. Rolling right. Good defense. Throw this one away. Yeah, you could tell Salty's juiced up to be in this game, rightfully so. This is a big time game, man. If Sal This is like a. This is a. What's the word I'm looking for? Like, if, if Salty wins this game, this is a statement game. Like, he makes his yeah. name. You know, he's kind of, we've talked about him. He's had some hype around him. But if he can come out with this victory, it would really do a lot for him. Young Randon Salt. Allen dropping back. In trouble. Throwing throw a sack. Oh, he's lucky he's, that didn't end up in his defender's hand. Yeah, that was a little scary right there. there. Three for eight. You he's see Henry shaking his head right on the top right. He knows that he's starting to oh. dial it up. You know, Salt, even though he got that big play, it was kind of a freestyle play, and, and Henry's fine living like that. If you're if you're salty, you don't want to live like that. He mm. keeps going to the same combo right here. I do like it, but Henry's been playing some good man defense. He's in field goal range right now. Can put points on the board. Allen outside of the pocket. That's oh, he mine. might throw it. He might have it. Yeah. Burn it. Get it. Don't the believe three it. Hard line. How about that? Look Looked like Henry pulled his user off just a little bit. Punch it in. For his first MCS event, I'm super impressed by his poise, his patience. He waited, waited. Henry was on the corner out to start, kind of bit down He's back on the, on the backside post, and he waited through the corner out to the sidelines for a phenomenal dot. Three yards out from the first points on the board. Get in How the about Culpepper running a little power off the sweep motion? Instead, he'll lose a yard. Yeah, a little fake jet QB power right there out of the gun doubles. I think Henry's ready for that. You know, a lot of these TNC guys like to go to that inside this is where the, the five games yard are line. Won. These are the where the games are won. We're gonna win this damn game. He's gotta get right. in the end zone once. It's again one of those games, TD. Is we're scoreless after one with Salty driving. We can probably just like go. I think he's got the analysis down. You gotta love Salty, man. It's hard not to get like excited to see this kid compete. He is, he is a funny guy too, Nick. Talking to him. Oh, Culpepper. Conte, oh my God, he almost like did, Superman threw did, in there. <laughs> did he just get back body dropped by his own man? Hello? We got a little WWE action going on here in the Eagles Club Championship. Big third and goal now for both guys. What does Salty have cooked up? It's a tough spot, but for Henry, you got to hold him to three. From the two-yard line. We give it to Bush. 
They're yeah. fighting for it. Into the Hell end yeah. zone. Touchdown for the 17 year old Randon Sol. And he didn't look oh, very good at that. And he didn't look very good at that. Come on. Young Salty with a great drive Clinical. right there. He was clutch Clinical. when he needed it on multiple Clinical. occasions. Henry finally showing some emotion, upset about it, but Reggie Bush falls forward, reaches for it, gets in the end zone. That's a big touchdown for Salty. We'll see Henry on offense. Ready to get down, buddy. For the second time. Look at this one more time. Good old fashioned hard nose football. Get in! Hell yeah! Come on! Now you wanna throw Henry on offense, first and ten. Oh, oh Underneath my God. another dangerous he throw. Another one. He is shaking. He is shivering. Great defense by Salty. You see him mixing up the coverages here. He had his outside linebacker in a little flat zone. He told me he was going to mix up his coverages versus Henry, trying to make it difficult. Now he brings the heat. Dump it off to Bush, trying to oh, make somebody man. miss. What a spin move. There goes Reggie Bush into the open space, down inside the 40 to 36 uh, yard line. That was a nasty stick, uh, spin move by Henry right there. You don't see the spin move too often here in Madden 21. Henry pulls it out and gets a nice big chunk play. He needed that. Get that momentum back. Henry looking to answer the touchdown. Throw a pick on his first drive. At the four-minute mark in the first half. Favre on first down. It's like a one-man rush. They'll finally just take what the defense gives them. That's DK Metcalf with five yards underneath. Crazy to think, not only did Henry make all four majors last year, that was his first year competing, so he's looking to start out his career five for five in major qualification. <laughs> just unreal. You know, we've never seen a start to someone's career like that. I mean, maybe Dreeny when he's first got on the scene, but, man, it's impressive what this kid is doing. Second and three. Brett Favre looking over the top. He's got a man. It's Metcalf yeah, to first. the house for Henry. Answers the this touchdown with a beam of his own. Tight end. Young Henry ah, says, on, Salty, anything sport. you can do, I can do better. Motion over the post. Hey, uh, just a laser. A nice right. little lob over the top. Gets into the end zone. And just like that, Henry, I think that was four or five plays. Play he goes that, down the field and he gets right back in it. That's it's what Henry, he the type of stuff he does. Now let's see if Henry can stop this salty offense. Let's take a look at this one more time, TD. It was just wide open. It looked like that S post angled to the outside. Yeah, we've seen it all day. You know, we saw Fancy run it. We saw even Big Show run it. Now Henry whips it out. Man to man burns him. And big, big time play over the top. Big time players make big time oh, plays. Oh no, it's... that run does not work. Did Salty just run a counter? Uh, Fitz. Well, his commentary oh, about Fitz. the play was he even better, though. Fitz. Did you hear that? <laughs> Thanks a lot, Fitz. He goes, oh, no, that run does not work. <laughs> Man, we've seen a lot of, we saw a ghost labbing a little bit earlier with that run. Now we see Salty out here. Go oh, wait. Second and 13. I'll throw this one away. This is my son. <laughs> oh. something out of nothing. Well, ah, uh, halfback belly weak. Interesting. It's kind of like a counter type inside zone run. You don't see it often. Third and 13. Looks like Henry bringing heat off the edge in that 1 4 6. Third and 13. McLaurin, the slot running that straight okay. quick throw. Low ball. Vernon Davis with the catch. 16 and a first down. Great dot right there by Salty. Little low ball to that corner out. We've seen that corner out play out of gun bunch to the tight end. It's been super effective all day long. Guys, keep going to that. That's been Salty's money play. He kind of gets the he gets a post on Chad Johnson over there to the solo side. Then he has the little flood concept here to the right side. Out on first and ten, outside of the pocket. Now throw this one away. Henry's been able to dial up a little bit of pressure. You look at the numbers: five of twelve passing the ball for Salty. He has not been lasering every single play. I think Henry's okay with the way he's playing defense. He's not giving up anything crazy. Salty did have the tight end corner up again right there. I just don't think he saw him. He was a little late. He did beat him man-to-man, -man, though. Second out of 10. Back to the air goes Salty. Stepping up, and he'll no, take no, no, off. No, 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 no. He gets no, absolutely no, no. leveled, but his own lineman recovers the fumble. Oh, man. Young Salty, say a little prayer because you just got... 
You I just got to, very uh, fortunate right there. It looked like he kind of messed up his control right no. there. He meant to go down slide, but he takes a huge hit from Henry. And if you're Henry, that hurts because that's the turnover you needed. That was great defense. Henry's honestly playing great defense this drive. Uh, Salty getting a little fortunate right there. Two minute warning. Lucky, lucky, Randon Salt. Third and three, taking a shot, that. double covered, and it's swatted away. Pick. It's gonna be fourth down. Awesome. Real bad decision right there by Salty. That's something you can't throw. That post was not open. Uh, he had a man-to-man, -man, then he had a zone behind it. And then Henry's really getting unfortunate on this drive. I'm not gonna lie, Salty getting pretty lucky. Big fourth and three now here for both guys. This play could be a big momentum shift in the ball game. If Henry can get a stop, he'll have great field position. Play clock down under 10. Punt unit does not exist for Salty. Watch the turbo rush. Allen. Looking over the middle. Fucking laser, man. What Fucking a laser. Oh, from this Salty. is literally insane. I've been impressed, Nick, with Henry's defense, but it seems like time and time again in the clutch moments when he needs it most, oh Salty God, just cooks up a laser. Him, it's been multiple it's times insane. here it's when he looks like he's he's dead in the me. water and he just I'm comes out and throws an absolute clutch dot and he does it again. That is a backbreaker for Henry. Clock running off that run play, loose in four. It just seems like every time you think Henry's going to come up with a big defensive stop, Salty has dialed up an absolute great route combo and even better pass. Yeah, the kid has been clutch so far in his first event. Looking over the top, one-on-one. Oh, one. McClure oh picked off and the DRC. Room. There's I the ask. stop Henry was looking for. And DRC looking to return this room. one to the 24-yard line. No points for Salty. No points, great click on, great user pick right there by Henry. And Henry's got to be saying, hey, it's about time. I deserve that. I got the stop I needed. If you're salty, you know, he might have thought he had to step on him, but you can't really throw that. It's a tough ball. And now Henry looking at the laser. He's got okay. him open. Vernon Davis to the 46-yard line. All business for the 17-year-old Henry Leverett. Yeah, Henry expects to win. He expects to be a, a belt winner by this point. You see, it's all business, like you said, Nick. He's a surgeon out here. I expect him to start cooking a little bit now on yeah. offense. As never mind, Salty dials it up. 30 seconds and counting. Favre. Oh, he might have him? Have Is he going to take that shot? Does he have him? Does he have him? Yes, he does! Henry to the end zone! Hot. And he flashes those pearly whites for just a second as he takes the lead before the half. Bombs away, a little clear out over the top. Stock fade route. No one can guard that man. Ocho Cinco, all that speed. Just a phenomenal play by Henry to take control. 14-7. Is that clear? You give Henry yeah, just a little see. window, and he's going to break down the whole wall as we take a look at it one more time. Just right up the seam goes 85. Yeah, just a stock fade out of that clear out play over the top. Big play, and you see Henry just gives a little smirk. He knows. He's no carry. He's not going to smile the whole time. <laughs> And that, honestly, Nick, that is really a backbreaker for Salty. To give that up, uh, to give up a touchdown with under 30 seconds when he wasn't even in field goal range, that could be uh, a play we look back on as a difference maker in this game. Allen, first and 10. And Salty put together a drive. Looking over the middle of the oh, field, yes, it's oh picked off. Yes, it's no. McCourty. It oh, accurate. Henry might get more oh, points. He's down to the 35 yard line. Salty can't believe how this terrible. game has shifted. Yeah, Nick, and, and honestly, both guys 17 years old, but I think these last few uh, minutes have shown the experience factor. Henry last year has been there, done that. Salty in his first live event and just crucial mistakes here within these just last minute or two. I don't know which side of the dog is coming. The dog is my really dog happy. Is oh, it's Henry's dog. Henry's dog is cheering for him. He's going to dial up those lasers, young fella. We gotta get a shot. What kind of dog? We gotta get a shot of the puppy back there. I think it's a little. I think it's a little guy. Can't really tell, but uh, big, big defensive stand by Henry, and then he go, kicks the field goal to go up ten. So just like that, it seemed like Salty had all the momentum, and now it's touch. all oh, Henry. I get rid of it. Um, Bro, he's done oh, nothing. It's just me being bad. I I'm just playing real bad on offense. Salty Excuse with me? the. the 
the uh, honesty. He, he's he'll, he's breaking down the game like an analyst. He'll get the ball to start the second half. 17 unanswered from the runner-up in last year's classic. Take a swig of water. You deserve it. 17 to 7. Henry with the lead, but Salty on the comeback trail looking to make some noise in the Eagles Club Championship. A reminder, the winner of the Eagles Club Final, they're going to get this custom chain from the Philadelphia Eagles organization. Something that you can wear with casual or formal. Big time trophy from the Eagles. TD, what do you think of the chains? I don't feel like I can rock a chain, but I feel like you, you seem like a guy that would be able to rock a chain. <laughs> that is some nice bling right there. You know, I do like my gold jewelry, so that will be nice to add. So for either of these two guys, that'll be some nice little bling. Show a little swagger, you know, go out, show that off to your friends, even though it's, it's tough to go out during it, COVID, but, you know, yeah. you know what I'm saying. Well, eventually when we're allowed to go out. Here's yeah, the problem, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah. These are not two of the, the biggest guys in the community. That chain might make them topple over. <laughs> I think that's a very fair point. <laughs> uh, but so crazy how this game really turned, though, Nick. I mean, wow. You know, it seemed like Salty, as we see this little drag route right there, but it seemed like Henry was a little bit on that upset alert. Salty was looking good. But then, you know, just a quick, it was within those two minutes that Salty kind of threw that pick, and, and Henry took advantage. That big play touchdown on that fade really was the difference, too. Second and three. Salty looking to get something going. Well covered once again downfield. He's forced to throw it away. It's amazing at how quickly the game of Madden can turn it. And it all comes down to the turnover battle. Yeah, and, and Salty's really struggled on offense. Like we said, he's had those clutch conversions when he needed them, but he's 7 for 18, two picks. That's not going to get it done when you're going up against a guy like Henry. Third and three. Allen stepping up. He's got it. That's Terry McLaurin. Get He's out, got Terry. blockers. There goes Get Scary out, Terry. 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Salty with the answer to Absolutely kick off the half. Off it. it was a three yard pass that turned into offense. a touchdown. That is the big play Salty needed. Just, just great patience, great pocket. Just throws the flat row. And he's able, it was great stick work, too, because he waited for the block. Again. And then he goes to the house, and that's the play Salt needed so we can get back on defense because he has struggled on offense. Huge play right there. Get him shaking again. Come on. Salt Nation, stand up for your boy. Cuts it back to a three-point lead, and now Henry with the ball offensively. He's got to be thinking, what is going on in this game? Yeah, it's... It seems like Henry has completely outplayed him, but Salty just has that fighting spirit. He just comes up clutch when he, he needs him, and he's staying in this ball game. But honestly, Henry has had a lot of success with the read option. I'd like to see him uh, kind of mix that in a little bit huh. more here, but Henry has looked way better on his last few possessions on offense. What can Henry dial up here? Come here. Great oh. young talent. Nowhere to go again, up huh? the middle. You know, we keep talking about last year, TD. It. it wasn't just that he made all four yeah, live it. finals. It's what he did in each of those tournaments. He was absolutely impressive in every single one. Yeah, you know, second in the Classic, I believe top 16 or eight in the clubs. And then uh, I forget what, what happened in Mud Draft. But yeah, he, he, he was he, was, he made great runs in all four tournaments, which is just in, so super impressive. I still remember last year, I got the pleasure to call that Philadelphia Eagles Club championship from uh, from Lincoln Financial. It was him. It was uh, Bobby D was out there. Big Gene was out there. I mean, it, it was such a great crew. And that was really my first time I got to, like, talk to Henry because the classic is so crazy. And just a super humble, polite kid. One of the nicest guys. I mean, that's the thing about the Madden community, TD. They're just... Aren't that many guys you go, oh, that guy's not very nice. Everybody, super friendly, like and it's, it's become so tight-knit like over the last couple of years. Yeah, and that's the thing to me is uh, there's so many different uh, characters, yeah. so many personalities. You know, we're trying to build stars out of the players, so I always try to get some personality out of them. To get have, They all have different stories, all different backgrounds. That's what's so awesome come about here, the Madden community. Come here. I, you might have to make a read. I know you're shaking over there and want to read option as much as possible. But... You is, might have is to Henry make one. shaking? He doesn't look shaking to me. Yeah, I don't think Henry's too shaking over there. 
Third and but four. I like I like the mindset by Salty. You know, make him make believe that in your head. You know what I mean? Dab that confidence. They're down. Favre stepping up, throw to the flat. That's Barry Sanders to the 38 yard line. It's weird seeing Barry Sanders out there in that Eagles jersey. I keep wanting to call him Miles Sanders. <laughs> yeah, nice little out route right there. You don't see that too often. And Nick, to your point, talking about Philly, you know, Philly to me is like that old school, here, as you see a great blitz right there. But to my point, Come Nick, on. Philly is like that old school Madden, you, you know, you guys do. like Big you G, hype. guys like Dynasty, you 40 no Gs. Clue what you're so calling. You just if, whoever represents Philly as the Madden it. club champion, that's big time right there. Marv on second and 18. No! Late throw, what throw out of stack. Whatever he was throwing Balls was not good. Nowhere. Not good, I promise you. Whatever he was throwing was not good. Not good at all. Not good at all. It's amazing not how good, good you are at reading the field when you're on defense after the play. <laughs> <laughs> Great defense right there by Salty. It was good pocket, too, by Henry. Kind of a scary last second throw now. A big third and 18. Both guys, especially for Salty, you've got to get off the field. Five rolling right. Going back across the middle, Madden 20, sure. stand up. The delay fade is still around. Bro, Looks I, like Henry I, I the first down. I saw tight. it. I saw the pearly the whites. Shit. A little smirk there from Henry. Did they give him the first or is it inches? Because uh, that was a super dot. Let's see if they did give him the first. The, the, the delay fade route, something you don't see a lot this year, but he goes to it. And uh -oh. he's got him over oh, the top. Wide open, okay, Terry McLaurin this is to the house. Henry hits him with the, what you doing over there? <laughs> What's he doing over there? Just a great dot by Henry. Salty brought the heat. He pretty much brought everyone, and that was the most open you will get when it comes to a competitive Madden game. Just a streak. All it was was a streak over the top. Salty nowhere near him. And that was just, that was a free layup for Henry. All right, let's, let's look at this one more time. That's called a cover zero, TD. Nobody was covered. I don't even know what you call that. You see Henry, not Ecstatic. much emotion. Yeah, Thrilled. not much emotion. Pump <laughs> but I up. <laughs> Nick, I don't know what kind of defense that was. I think that was just kind of so two guys in a flat blitz Let's everyone else. That ain't gonna work. That's not it. Check it out. What's uh? What do you think Salty was singing earlier? You need the Shazam back. <laughs> It's on that salty play. Oh, just one man like this. Oh right. yeah, he says so. He originally had some Taylor Swift. Uh huh. He had some. Uh, I think he said Taylor Swift and Bieber. But then he switched it today. He said he said TD. It's only Fifty Cent and Eminem now. So make sure you mention that. So all Salty has right now in his playlist, Fifty Cent yeah. Eminem, Take trying to get in that motivation he needs to come back. By, all right, by bro. He caught my zone last time. T Swifty and again. the Biebs were just a little too hardcore for him. He had to. He's gonna log in. He sings along too hard once Shake It Off comes on. Third and 10. Salty dropping back and in trouble. And he's gonna just get rid of that ball. Eight for 22. Henry's defense, he's the number one defensive player in the Eagles club and he's showing why. Yeah, he's definitely showing why. If you're Salty, eight for 22. It's just been a poor performance on offense. But he's been clutch in all these situations so far when he needs them the most. He needs it the most right here for his club championship season. Does he have a dot in him? Dial something up. No, nope. I had a Balls touchdown. out. Can't Bro, advance oh it. God, I had another and how about Henry finally finding some pressure? He'll again. get the ball back again. on the 11 yard line up by 10. Goes with that 1 4 6. He brings the heat off both sides, you know, dials it up. QB fumble, and then he's just going to go a little stretch here to the outside. Do I take know? that quarter, take it out of the third quarter. Fours up in the chat. What a game we've had to finish the day off. Henry in control. Salty looking for a stop to stay in this game. Yeah, it seemed like Salty, you know, started with that momentum, had a lot of juice to start, but Henry's just been dominant here since the second quarter. Looks like Salty came out that, that the 3 4 bear. Look at that. Dial up some run stops. Third down and 10. Henry used the entire play clock. Two man rush from Salty. Look and let, or excuse me, from Henry. And that one might be the sealer.
Henry with another great read. Doesn't matter how many he dropped into coverage. Henry found the open man, 31-14. That's just a laser. I mean, just he cooked it up. Three, he comes out in three tight ends. You'd never think he's gonna pass the ball. He cooks up the tight end corner out with a streak, and Salty had no zone over there, wide open. Just a phenomenal thought by Henry. Take a look at it one more time. Salty dropped everyone into coverage. Just nobody over on the left side. That one too easy. Yeah, corner out to the tight end. He had the inside guy going deep. He had the, another curl route. Just a flood concept to the strong side and converts for a big touchdown. Allen on first and 10. A learning experience for Salty. We, we've said it a couple times today, but a lot of first time club finalists here in the NFC East. Yeah, and you know, you'll learn, he'll learn a lot from this. Like we saw, like we heard earlier, you know, all these guys will learn. Going up against these top elite, top 10, top 15 players. You know, what a, what a change of events, too. You know, this that just shows you the talent that Bro, Henry has. I'm just getting the worst, I like, mean, animations. It just shows you the talent that Henry has. It was a close game to start, and it seems like Henry's just blown it open here out of nowhere. 31-14. Salty. Looking over the oh, middle. The wrong that button. one's... I'm just, I'm just, oh my you god, me? I hit the wrong button, I had a touchdown again. I, I've missed out on one three teams. Read. <laughs> Say, he only had one bad read and it was picked off. <laughs> yeah, Salty just looks a little frazzled at this point now. He's down 17 here, hit the wrong button. Henry bringing the heat here. Let's see if Salty can pick it up this time. He hasn't been able to ever since Henry's gone to that 146. The left side, fourth and ten. Nice dot there. So, I'm getting I'm getting okay, live yeah. information here, TD. I'm being told that Henry's nickname inside the 818 crew is Gary Payton. <laughs> I thought it was because he kind of looks like Gary Payton, but but I'm being told that uh, and this is I believe direct. I, I've been told direct from Canes. Okay, so don't yell at me. But direct from Canes, he said that uh, Allen gave him that nickname because he thinks Henry's God. Allen hasn't beat Henry in a friendly in over two months. <laughs> also, he's the glove on defense. He's got the glove for him. He's got the glove for Henry. And right now, he's got the glove for young, salty Gary Payton, a.k.a. young Henry. All right, I got I to gotta, I gotta ask Henry about the glove nickname after. We'll, we'll, if he talks about this. We'll see, we'll see what he says about the nickname. Third and ten. Nowhere to go for Bush. Fourth down and 11. Uh, by the way, there's nothing I'm going to be able to call him from now on. <laughs> like, like you can come up with any other nickname you want. It's too late. Yeah, I, I like the glove. I like it. And you see Salty, they're going to a run on third or second down, or third down, down by 17. I think he's a little shook by this 146 now that Henry's cooking up. Oh, absolutely. The glove on defense I didn't, I didn't once again. To block this. How about the adjustment by Henry in the second half? He was getting no pressure really in the first half, but he's found something that has worked. And as you heard, Salty, he's got no answer for it. Yep, you nailed it. That's why these players are elite. That's why they're at that next level, and that's why Henry is so good. He's able to adjust. Second half, he says, okay, Salty's not look good on offense. I think I can dial up some heat. He's, he's staying in the three receiver set. I can go to this one four six, and I can apply that pressure, and that's been the difference in the game. So great adjustment by Henry, and it just shows why he is considered a top five player in the game. Yeah, you know, you know somebody with two belts who's on this broadcast Probably pretty happy seeing what Henry has been able to dial up today. Yeah, without a doubt. You know. Mo knows he played him in that Madden For Classic Dan last Pride. year. Had a great game. And I, Mo was probably the first person that saw the talent, the potential that this kid has. And, man, he's lived up to the hype. He's still – I think people expect him to win a belt at such a young age. And that's so hard to do. But, man, if it, he didn't do it last year, he came close. It's a dot. You know, he's got to be a favorite to do it this year. It's a dot. I've been laughing my punts. Over a putt dot. It's in bounds. Caught by Prut. All right. Jesus Out of bounds the one. <laughs> putt laser. Honest, Henry's face said it all right there. 
<laughs> it said it all right there. Um, there the pearly whites. There's the smile. The old, the old. How often did you lab punts, TD? Was that something you spent time in the lab doing? No, one time, time ever. Nope. Not one time ever, but Henry just he's he's a he's a true professional. You know what I mean? He takes this so serious. That's why he's just one of the best. About seven more of those and we and we good. It's fun to watch too. Both these players very fun to watch. I you know, these are two guys I mean, you know, Henry certainly has all the acclaim right now. Have a corner right there. Looking like he's going to qualify for his fifth five out of five uh MCS events. But both these guys, so young, 17 years old. They've got some bright futures ahead of them. Uh, without a doubt, man. I mean, we've talked to him many times, Henry. We already know how good he is. Sky is the limit. But I think for Salty, too, the talent is there. The personality is there, no doubt. Talking to Salty, he is hilarious. Um, yeah. It's just got to get the offense a little bit better. You know, it's just tough, man. You're going up your first live event ever, and you're going up against Henry. You, you, if you had to list guys that you'd want to go up against in your first ever yeah, MCS but Henry's yeah. probably the last person on that list so it's just a tough matchup for him but let's talk about this NFC East Evil O Ghost Fancy and Henry good luck predicting who's going to come out of this division man that is <coughs> insane you know and, and Evil O's probably the underdog in that spot um, and, and he, he probably would even agree but then you look at the other three who is the favorite in that group? Because I don't think you could make a, a, a prediction on who the favorite out of Ghost, Henry, and Fancy is. These, Those are probably three of the top ten players in the world right now by far. And the thing that works for Evil O, TD, is he plays such good defense and he shortens the game. It makes exactly. him, like, even if he is the underdog, he's got a chance because it only takes one or two plays to swing the entire momentum. Without a doubt. We saw last year, Evil O really, when he played Henry in the final third two, he had that game completely in control. And he kind of just, he let it he let it slip out of his hands. So Evil O, without a doubt, can it can make a run. He can win the tournament. He just he just has to make those crucial, he can't make those mistakes down the stretch. And he can, but he's definitely uh, can stay in any game the way he plays. Third and ten for Salty. Now Salt Nation, probably a little sad right now, but... The Labs is one of the best crews out there. He's got a lot of talent. Allen will throw this one away. It'll be fourth down. He said before the game, listen, it's going to be all up to if I have an offensive game plan. He did up until Henry started adjusting, and he just didn't have a way to block some of these pressures. Yeah, definitely. When you talk to Salty, you talk to that TNC crew, they said the one thing about Salty, he's great on defense, but offense, sometimes he's on, sometimes he's not on. You know, he's very 50-50. So once he gets that consistency down on offense, man, he's going to be a player you really got to watch out for. Nice fourth down pickup, staying alive, fighting till the end, 35 seconds in counting. Allen. Scramble to the 33 yard line. Just in a second in the game. And what we are now officially, we've worked halfway through the divisions. Four more to go. Half the field will be set with Henry's spot. And this final 32, Ty, it's, it's really setting up to be an absolutely amazing tournament. Yeah, it's going to be insane. Nick, we were talking earlier kind of off stream about that AFC North and how I'm looking forward to that um, as we see another pick to end it. But Henry just domination, especially after that first quarter, Henry really settled down and he's going to take this to the house with prime time and show off while he does it. A GG's from Henry. It'll be one kneel down. Young Salty with a battle, but Henry... Too much defense to the dog is pumped. The dog's ready to go. Henry, back to back, Philadelphia Eagles club champion, 31-14 over Salty. Uh, this game, I I do feel like Ty, looking at that score, it's closer than the score indicates. Yeah, the score is the score does indicate how this game went. Salty started out great, had a lot of juice, but Henry, some adjustments down the stretch, especially in that second half, and he was able to do enough, and he comes out with the victory. Yeah, and for Salty, uh, what it came down to was just a couple plays. That second half, the adjustment from Henry defensively, bringing some pressure, able to force a couple turnovers. It looked like a completely different game.
Yeah, going to that one four six, bringing heat off both edges. Salty didn't have an answer for it. You know, he got that strip sack. He was able to get a couple sacks. Salty just, like I said, he needs to work on that consistency when it comes to offense, and I think we'll see him back. How about Henry now? Five for five qualifying for live events in his first year of competing now into his second year. TD, the question is, where's the ceiling? Is the sky the limit for this kid? I mean, no, he hasn't won a belt yet, but he's got to be a favorite going into the tournament. Yeah, there's no ceiling for Henry. There's none at all. You know, if he's not top five, top three, he's in that conversation. He's definitely one of the favorites to win a belt. And I can't wait. This NFC East, like we said, Nick, is stacked. That's going to be crazy to watch down in January. All right, well, let's bring in the now two-time, the back-to-back Philadelphia Eagles club champion, Henry. Henry, congratulations, my friend. Uh, what a game. Uh, first of all, uh, talk about that second half. What defensive adjustments? That, I mean, you really, it looked like first half, it was a really close game. You opened it up in the second half. And also, I'm told to let you know that uh, your your friends in the chat, they're, they're calling you out for being Gary Payton. <laughs> Gary Payton. Yeah, but no, nah, I mean... The first half, I feel like he was bad for real. I don't, I really don't know how he was scoring. I, I really don't know how he was moving the ball for real, but I don't know. I just started playing double flats and he didn't really have an answer. You know, I, you know how I play defense is I usually adjust wild a majority of the time and I blitz heavy, but you know, he just wasn't going for that. He played more simple, so I just took a more simple approach as well. Congrats, Henry. You know, the NFC East is starting to look stacked. You know, you got you, Evil O, Ghost, Fancy. Talk about how you feel about the division, because I know you said in your comments that you thought this division was kind of easy. That's why you picked the Eagles. So talk about going into the finals in January. Well, those comments were from last year, but uh, last year I thought, uh, like, it was way easier. This year I definitely think it's probably the hardest division. Uh, now that the game has changed, you know, Fancy, he's in trips. That's unstoppable. Uh, even though he has the AMB boys always have something ready and then goes, he's a check down specialist. He just makes you want to punch someone while you're playing him on offense. So it's definitely a tough division now. I'm not sleeping on anybody. Well, congratulations. You are the Eagles back to back club champion. We have a very special congratulations from the Eagles themselves. Congrats to today's winner on chewing up the competition in Madden. We knew that you would make Philly proud. Looking forward to watching you represent us in January at the Madden Club Championship. And not only that, you'll be getting this custom Eagles chain sent out to you. Something that I'm sure uh, you'll be rocking okay, wait, there's another all one? around town. And cha chains <laughs> for days. Hey, Henry, I gotta ask. Was the dog just cheering for you? What kind of dog you got up there? The, the chat is clamoring to know what was going on. Uh, Yeah. My, so what happened is with me playing at home now, my, my family watches below. So when uh when a big play happens, you can hear them yelling. And when they yell, the dog starts screaming. I can I can bring her on camera if you want. Hey, Alex. We got to see the dog. Is, we yeah, got to see the dog. I love any dog that will cheer with the family. I love that. By the way, As this, this is, is the, the blackest of dog in history. <laughs> This is Isla. <laughs> Literally the well, blackest I'm, dog I've ever seen. <laughs> you said what? Camouflaged at night. He's uh, is adorable. <laughs> yeah, cheering so for you. I mean, that's just awesome. Uh, Henry, congratulations, man. Uh, yeah. you, we'll see you in January at the club championships. Five for five to start your career in live finals. And a great win today. What a day here in the NFC East.